Methylenodioxypyrovalerone, Wikipedia article audio. Methylenodioxypyrovalerone is a stimulant of the cathinone class which acts as a norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor. It was first developed in the 1960s by a team at Beringer Ingelheim. MDPV remained an obscure stimulant until around 2004 when it was reportedly sold as a designer drug. Products labeled as bath salts containing MDPV were previously sold as recreational drugs in gas stations and convenience stores in the United States, similar to the marketing for Spice and K2 as incense. Appearance Pharmacology Effects Long-term effects Metabolism Detection in biological specimens Legality Australia Canada United States Documented fatalities Overdose treatment the hydrochloride salt exists as a very fine, hygroscopic, crystalline powder that tends to clump to itself, resembling something like powdered sugar. Its color can range from pure white to a yellowish tan and has a slight odor that strengthens as it colors. Impurities are likely to consist of either pyrrolidine or alpha debrominated alkylphenones from either excess pyrrolidine or incomplete amination respectively, during synthesis. These impurities likely account for its discoloration and fishy or bromine-like odor, which worsens upon exposure to air, moisture, or bases. Methylenodioxypyrovalerone has no record of FDA-approved medical use. MDPV has been shown to produce robust reinforcing effects and compulsive self-administration in rats, though this had already been provisionally established by a number of documented cases of misuse and addiction in humans, before the animal tests had been carried out. MDPV is the 3,4-methylenodioxy ring, substituted analog of the compound pyrovalerone developed in the 1960s, which has been used for the treatment of chronic fatigue and as an anorectic, but caused problems of abuse and dependence. Other drugs with a similar chemical structure include alpha-pyrrolidinopropiophenone, 4 methyl alpha 3 4 methylenodioxy alpha pyrrolidinopropiophenone and 1 phenyl 2 1 pentanone. MDPV acts as a stimulant and has been reported to produce effects similar to those of cocaine, methylphenidate, and amphetamines. The primary psychological effects have a duration of roughly 3 to 4 hours, with after effects such as tachycardia, hypertension, and mild stimulation lasting from 6 to 8 hours. High doses have been observed to cause intense, prolonged panic attacks in stimulant-intolerant users, and there are anecdotal reports of psychosis from sleep withdrawal and addiction at higher doses or more frequent dosing intervals. It has also been repeatedly noted for inducing irresistible cravings to re-administer. Reported modalities of intake include oral consumption, insufflation, smoking, rectal and intravenous use. It is supposedly active at 3,5 mg, with typical doses ranging between 5,20 mg. Although there is no experience about the long-term effects of MDPV in humans, it has been reported that mice treated with MDPV during adolescence show reinforcing behavior patterns to cocaine which are higher than the control group. Also, these behavioral changes are related to alterations of factor expression directly related to addiction. All this suggests an increased vulnerability to cocaine abuse. MDPV undergoes CYP4502D6, 2C19182 and COMT phase 1 metabolism into methyl catechol and pyrrolidine, 
which in turn are glucuronated allowing it to be excreted by the kidneys, with only a small fraction of the metabolites being excreted into the stools. No free pyrrolidine will be detected in the urine. Molecularly, this is seen as demethylenation of methylenodioxypyrovalerone, followed by methylation of the aromatic ring via catechol-O-methyltransferase. Then hydroxylation of both the aromatic ring and side chain takes place followed by an oxidation of the pyrrolidine ring to the corresponding lactam, with subsequent detachment and ring opening to the corresponding carboxylic acid. MDPV may be quantified in blood, plasma, or urine by gas chromatography mass spectrometry or liquid chromatography mass spectrometry to confirm a diagnosis of poisoning in hospitalized patients or to provide evidence in a medical legal death investigation. Blood or plasma MDPV concentrations are expected to be in a range of 1050 μg L in persons using the drug recreationally greater than 50 μg L in intoxicated patients, and greater than 300 μg L in victims of acute overdose. In the UK, following the ACMDS report on substituted cathinone derivatives, MDPV is a Class B drug under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971 Order 2010 making it illegal to sell, buy, or possess without a license. MDPV is specifically listed as a controlled substance in Finland, Denmark, and Sweden. In Sweden a 33-year-old man has been sentenced to six years in prison by an appellate court, Hovrat, for possession of 250 grams of MDPV that had been acquired prior to criminalization. In Western Australia, MDPV has been banned under the Poisons Act 1964, having been included in Appendix A Schedule 9 of the Poisons Act 1964 as from February 11, 2012. The Director of Public Prosecutions for Western Australia announced that anyone intending to sell or supply MDPV faces a maximum $100,000 fine or 25 years in jail. Users face a $2,000 fine or two years jail. Therefore, anyone caught with MDPV can be charged with possession, selling, supplying or intent to sell or supply. Canadian Health Minister Leona Aglukak announced on June 5, 2012 that MDPV would be listed on Schedule I of the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act, which was realized on September 26, 2012. In the United States, MDPV is a DEA federally scheduled drug. On October 21, 2011, the DEA issued a temporary one-year ban on MDPV, classifying it as a Schedule I substance. Schedule I status is reserved for those substances with a high potential for abuse, no currently accepted use for treatment in the United States and a lack of accepted safety for use of the drug under medical supervision. Prior to the federal ban being announced, it was already banned in Louisiana and Florida. On March 24, 2011, Kentucky passed Bill HB 121 which makes MDPV, as well as three other cathinones, controlled substances in the state. It also makes it a Class A misdemeanor to sell the drug, and a Class B misdemeanor to possess it. MDPV is banned in New Jersey under Pamela's Law. The law is named after Pamela Schmidt, a Rutgers University student, murdered in March 2011 by an alleged user of MDPV. A toxicology report later found that no bath salts were present in his system. On May 5, 2011, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam signed a law making it a crime to knowingly produce, manufacture, distribute, sell, 
offer for sale or possess with intent to produce, manufacture, distribute, sell, or offer for sale any product containing 3,4-methylenodioxypyrovalerone. On July 6, 2011, the Governor of Maine signed a bill establishing fines for possession and penalties for trafficking of MDPV. On October 17, 2011, an Ohio law banning synthetic drugs took effect barring selling and slash or possession of any material, compound, mixture, or preparation that contains any quantity of the following substances having a stimulant effect on the central nervous system, including their salts, isomers, and salts of isomers listing ephedrine and pyrovalerone. It also specifically includes MDPV, misspelling the full name as methionidioxypyrovalerone. Four days after this Ohio law was passed, the D's national emergency ban was implemented. On December 8, 2011, under the Synthetic Drug Control Act, the U.S. House of Representatives voted to ban MDPV and a variety of other synthetic drugs which had been sold legally in stores. In April 2011, two weeks after they went missing, two men in northwestern Pennsylvania were found dead in a remote location on government land. The official cause of death of both men was hypothermia but toxicology reports later confirmed that both Troy Johnson, 29, and Terry Sumrau, 28, had ingested MDPV shortly before their deaths. It wasn't anything to kill them, but enough to get them messed up, the county coroner said. MDPV containers were found in their vehicle along with spoons, hypodermic syringes and marijuana paraphernalia. In April 2011, an Alton, Illinois, woman apparently died from an MDPV overdose. In May 2011, the CDC reported a hospital emergency department visit after the use of bath salts in Michigan. One person was reported dead on arrival at the ED. Associates of the dead person reported that he had used bath salts. His toxicology results revealed high levels of MDPV in addition to marijuana and prescription drugs. The primary factor contributing to death was cited as MDPV toxicity after autopsy was performed. An incident of hemiplegia has been reported. A total of 107 non-fatal intoxications and 99 analytically confirmed deaths related to MDPV between September 2009 and August 2013 were reported by nine European countries. Physicians often treat MDPV overdose cases with anxiolytics, such as benzodiazepines, to lessen the drug-induced activity in the brain and body. In some cases, general anesthesia was used because sedatives were ineffective. Treatment in the emergency department for severe hypertension, tachycardia, agitation, or seizures consists of large doses of lorazepam in 2-4 mg increments every 10-15 minutes intravenously or intramuscularly. If this is not effective, haloperidol is an alternative treatment. It has been found that the use of any beta blockers to treat hypertension in these patients can cause an unopposed peripheral alpha-adrenergic effect with a dangerous paradoxical rise in blood pressure.